Hey YouTube family and GN subs, how are you? Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Hope you're well, and uh, today we're gonna do all about automatic work authorization extensions. I know it sounds, okay, this is pretty simple stuff. It is not simple stuff, but I'm gonna make it simple. That's what I do, right? I break down complicated subject matter, make it very simple. Uh, I'm gonna provide you with a lot of links um, to pertinent sections uh, of the, the policy uh, for automatic extension of work permits. So, hey, stay tuned. Those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Umberto Gray, attorney at law. Uh, I give you good news. I'm the GN guy, and this, folks, is good news. Automatic extension of work permits. Let's get at it. All right, so... Um, Immigration has a backlog. I mean, they are backlog. It's taking, as you know, probably a year, some instances longer to get your work permit extended. So um, what immigration has done initially is they gave an automatic extension of six months. Now they're giving an automatic extension for a year and a half, 18 months. Why it's taking so long? People are losing jobs. I mean, this is really important. I get clients you know, clients that call me and they're like, Umberto, what can we do? My employer is firing me. You know, my extension for work permit was filed on time. It's still not being adjudicated and and, and it's tough. They're losing jobs. My, my clients, um, people are losing jobs. It's dire. You can't extend your, your driver's license. I mean, you know, very, very difficult. So this is really, really good news that we're able now to get, you know, an 18 month automatic extension. That's awesome. All right. So what are we talking about? These are broad categories. I put a link in the description box of which categories qualify for this automatic uh, 18 month extension. Let me go through a few of them because you may actually have a status and not know that you're eligible for work authorization. And if you are, then, you know, basically you want to, you want to be able to get the automatic extension. Uh, it may be useful to you. A lot of people don't know about non-immigrant spouses. Derivative spouses are eligible in certain categories, E, L, Hs, to get work permits, to get work authorization, right? The F1 student, practical training, work authorization. Uh, so these are non-immigrants that are eligible. There's a lot of situations in litigation, in court, if you're under removal proceedings. Let's say you have a grant of what's called suspension of deportation, right? You've been in the country for 10 years, good moral character, show hardship to your kids or your spouse. You're able to get a grant of what's called suspension of removal. You're eligible for work authorization based on that grant. Withholding of removal, same thing. Let's say your case is administratively closed and you had an adjustment of status that was pending in court, eligible for this work authorization, all right? Things that are really apparent, TPS, temporary protected status, adjustment of status. We talk a lot about filing adjustment of status, eligible for a work permit. If you have a work permit that's expiring, automatic 18 month extension. And of course the big one, asylum, right? The asylum request for extension of work authorization has been taking forever. So this is welcome news for those of you who have pending asylum applications and eligible for the work permit or granted asylum applications and you're waiting to file the adjustment of status. So this is really welcome, <laughs> good news. So this took effect May 4th, 2022, and it's gonna be valid until October of 2023. So it's not permanent, folks. This is a temporary thing, right? So here's the key. You generally can file extension of your work permit six months prior to expiration. Please do that because to get the automatic extension, you have to have a timely filed request for extension. So make sure you file on time, right? So those of you who filed before May 4th of 2022 for your request for extension, so you still get the automatic extension, but you're not gonna get an I-797C. That's the receipt form, right? You're not gonna get that. So what you need to do is you need to show your underlying status. You need to show when it expired. You need to show that you timely filed um, your, your work permit. Then you have the 18 month automatic extension from the date uh, of uh, expiration. All right, those of you who are on DACA, right? You might ask, do I get the automatic uh, extension of the 18 months? DACA is a little different because DACA is under litigation. So under the DACA cases, uh, there is an automatic extension of one year 
uh, for the work permit. I put a link in the description box below. Um, you can check it out. A little different for DACA. Make sure you're up to date on the DACA stuff, okay? So this is gonna happen, right? This is, I guarantee, guarantee you this is gonna happen. What happens if you get to the 18 month mark and you haven't gotten the approval of your request for extension? What do you do? Nothing is on the website that says what to do, right? So what I would do, again, I would file another request for extension six months prior to when you would have received the work permit. Generally, they're issuing now for two years, right? So I would say right at the 18 month mark, go ahead. If you haven't heard, file another request for extension, make sure you're on time and uh, you can make an argument. Look, I'm going to get another 18 month extension because they haven't adjudicated my I-765. I think that's a tip. That's what I'm going to advise my clients to do. All right, folks. Now, remember, this is only good until October of 2023. All right. So um, let's see what happens. Here's my prediction, right? I told you this before. I think we're going to do away with the I-765 altogether, the adjudication of the I-765. If you have an underlying status that allows you to file for the I-765, I think that in and of itself is going to be good enough proof um, to show that you're authorized to work in the United States. You won't need a collateral you know, work authorization card. So um, that's my take. Let's see what happens with the work authorizations, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching Great Law TV. Click below, like, and subscribe. I'm up to 4.5 million views, and uh, we're just inching in on the 60,000 uh, subscribers, GN subs. Love you guys. Go to my playlist. Remember, the playlists are very cool. Um, check it out. Look at our content. We're getting 100,000 views per month. People are going to this playlist and they're learning about immigration law. It's good stuff, folks. Hey, we'll see you next week.